Profoto galleries are really cool. They give you a unique URL for every gallery you create. Now when looking at the template assigned to your gallery pages, the gallery itself will display in the content column. The rest of the widgets display around this column, but the column can't have any widgets added directly to it. You see, it's just a placeholder in the template showing where content from a WordPress post or a page or a gallery will display. So, what if you want to show more than just a gallery on a portfolio page? Now, without editing the template itself, which we cover in the intermediate section, the only way to do this is by adding the gallery to a regular WordPress page and then adding content to that page along with the gallery. For testing, I've created three portfolio galleries. In Pages All Pages, I've added a new page for each of these galleries named similarly. In each page, I insert the corresponding gallery, which is represented by a placeholder image. I can now use the WordPress visual editor to add content just like any other WordPress page. This gives me the option to add images, a description, pricing info, a grid, maybe a link to a proofing page, or really anything. Here, as an example, I'll add some text to the top and a galleries grid to the bottom. Let's say I want to be able to link to all my galleries from each gallery page. All this appears along with the gallery in the content column I was talking about. There are various ways to then link to these pages. You can add single page links to each page in a menu and then you could create a drop-down. You could create another page maybe titled Portfolio and in that page insert a grid. You'd use a selected post pages type and then you choose the pages you created. Now I have a single page with these grid links to my individual portfolio gallery pages. You could combine this with the individual men menu links so that the parent portfolio link goes to this page with the grid items and the drop-down links go to the individual gallery pages. Also common would be to add this same type of a grid to a block on your static home page. To do this, you're going to edit the static home page template and create a new block and add a grid widget to that block. Here's an example of what that might look like on the front end. 